My bedroom is right by the busy street, so you're going to hear cars go by. I live near construction, so you may hear really big trucks pulling away or a siren. Um, But other than that, I'm just going to talk about some revelations that I had while watching this. I was really, really curious about what made it um, an Oscar nominee, (laughs) to be honest. Um, And uh, the nominee was actually for supporting actor uh, Timothy Chalamet. And he stars as Nick. I immediately knew I didn't like this film when it began. Mm, But I wanted to keep watching because although I didn't like it, it was still fascinating to me. Um, And again, I was curious about Chalamet's performance. So... A little bit well into the story, I had an epiphany, okay? Uh, I was like, oh, okay, that's why. That's why this was worthy of a nomination, his performance, Timothy, uh, because it reminds me of Queen Phoenix and the Joker. In no way, in no way is it appropriate or acceptable to compare the two performances the films or the actors and that's not what I'm doing comparing them I am just um providing a point of reference as to the disturbing nature of the performance it was disturbing in the same manner that Jack Queen's performance as the Joker was And that uh, changed how I perceived Timothy Chalamet um, because Jack Queen's Phoenix as the Joker is the way I would define disturbing. Um is that it is scary, you know, it's scary, the portrayal, the um, realism. Scary is a word, but there's another word, um, horrific. Yeah, there's a bit of horror. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a horrifying kind of resemblance to reality there it is there it is (laughs) i gotta be able to paint the picture so i'm gonna use as many words as i need to to describe it because there's something about timothy chalamet in this film that um makes me feel he had to do more like his performance was dependent on his ability to demonstrate an emotion authentically heavily dependent on emotional depictions because his dialogue his lines were so one-dimensional and surface um something else that i didn't like about the film was that i was only they mm, what made me love it were the scenes that had both chalamet and steve carell i believe that's how you say his name Timothy and Steve in the same scene 
at the same time. Phenomenal. The, the, those were the moments where I had all of my attention on screen. But separately, I felt like there was something missing from each performance. Uh, but maybe that's just because they work so well as a pair. I also felt like the direction, it just personally wasn't my taste. I didn't like the soundtrack. I felt like he was all over the place. Um, I also felt like the content was... Um, it was mixed. It was mixed uh, in a way that had me questioning whether or not they really knew what their end result was or like what their end goal was because I just felt like the execution was all over the place. It was it was it was it was everywhere. The story began with some sort of like silent narration. Like uh in the beginning there is a one year earlier. I think it's earlier, not later. So there's like a um a transition that says one year earlier. But after that, we don't get any more timestamps. Um, and I that I didn't like that because I felt like what happened? Like you guys were telling the story in this way and then all of a sudden you just abandoned it. I didn't like it because it left me confused. There were so many flashbacks. I felt like there was absolutely no um <sighs> direction <laughs> like it was being directed but the the story wasn't being directed the acting was being directed but the course of events were just like everywhere and it was and I I, I didn't like that there were experiences that the audience was given in the beginning that I felt like maybe we had got exposed to it too early because we didn't figure out its significance until later and I feel like sometimes that works, um, but here it just didn't make sense uh, to me. The story didn't, the way that it was told. I understand the general concept and the idea completely wholeheartedly. Completely, I understand the idea. But the story was just told in a way that was completely illogical. <laughs> and I get it that um, maybe that is a reflection of the nature of the story, um, the fact that it's a story dealing with addiction and um, heartbreak and recovery and trauma and abuse and it's all of those things. Um, so maybe they wanted to tell the story in a way that reflected the behavior. Um, of our character. But um, I I felt connected to the chemistry um yeah the chemistry between Steve and Timothy going back to what I was saying earlier they had really nice chemistry and maybe that was the best part about it I think uh what I was gonna say is that two things one is that there's something about Timothy Chalamet's smile um that is dark just there's something dark about him in general <laughs> like come on guys let's be honest 
something peculiar and odd. Um, but it's not strange, you know, it's not alarming, just dark, something that I, I want to point out. Um, and I was t- like going towards talking about his smile. His smile is like, um, Uh, okay i'm gonna pause in that thought i'm gonna go to the title the title of the film is i i so ironic um i love I, i i love that about it i love how poetic it was and i love that the title is beautiful boy um but the story is so harsh and dark and forgive me because I don't like using this word but ugly and I like the contrast there um I like the use of illusion but going back to Timothy Chalamet and honestly, why I feel like this role was perfect for him and why I I did, in the end, enjoyed his performance because I think he really took the beautiful boy concept and, like, personified it. He gave it, he gave it flesh. He gave it bones. He, like, made me believe in this idea of this beautiful boy with this really just um, deep, deep, deep sadness uh and i was gonna say it's his smile timothy chalamet's smile is beautiful in the way that um a shattered mirror is beautiful you know (laughs) and how you're kind of like fascinated with your reflection when it's all cracked up um And if you look at it from a certain point of view, there's beauty there. That's that's what his smile reminds me of, like that experience. Um, I think the movie was informative, but it was turning me off. It was turning me off. It was turning me off because of how they were relaying the information. I didn't I didn't like how um invasive it felt the experience of them talking about addiction like ultimately what they're trying to raise awareness of i didn't like how they were relaying the information and i didn't like how they were integrating the knowledge and you know certain things that i felt like are necessary for the audience to grasp um certain points certain concepts and ideas about addiction i didn't like how they were relaying it because it felt insensitive that the the way they were handling the information and the way they were presenting it it made me want to turn off the movie and i felt like if anything that it felt a little bit contradictory um but that could just be me my own personal experience So that's just something else that I want to point out. But I definitely can say, though, I definitely can say, those Jaqueline Queen Phoenix, um, that that like parallel in my head had me like whoa for a second, <laughs> because I think what it really reflects is his potential. Um, as an actor, like the range that he has, 
And I think it's pretty impressive that it even resembled or reminded me, right? Or like gave me a similar feeling and stimulated me in the way that Jack Queen Phoenix performance as the Joker did. Like, whoa, first of all. Um but you know, can I be a little bit honest? Just a little bit honest. And I don't I don't want it to come out brutal. Just me expressing something that I feel and haven't really said it until now (laughs) um part of me feels like uh performances that are um like drug addict performances a bit cliche to me. I think it's a bit cliche. Um, I don't. I don't think it's genuinely creative or original, <laughs> or like um, thoughtful. Mm, yeah. So it, it it doesn't really quite. Imp- I I I. It's it's hard for me to truly and wholeheartedly like believe that someone. is uh, um i want to say talented when the performance that we're using to base that on is a like a drug addiction because i just think it's just um I I feel like it is I don't like the fact that cliche is the only word that I could come up with for it but like <laughs> you know like it it okay I'm I'm trying to articulate something but I feel like maybe I got the point across about the whole drug addict performances those characters i get the impact but i think they um can sometimes be redundant um mm, and there's something ignorant about it There's something ignorant about it and ironic at the same time. Because I feel that those types of roles lead more into mockery than like actual performing art. Um, that's how i feel and i think the feeling just became a little bit more intense when i was watching timothy chalamet's performance in beautiful boy because due to the nature of the dialogue due to the nature of the dialogue I felt his performance um, was exaggerated. Definitely. And you could, like, well, I don't know about anybody else, but it felt like he was exaggerating. It felt like he was, like, overdoing it in a way that 
showed evidence of effort, right? Like, he wasn't overdoing it in a way that felt reckless. I just don't, I just, um, okay, maybe what I'm trying to say is that getting nominated for, for performances that are, like, drug addiction based, I think is a bit, like, mm, unjust, that, that's really what I want to say, because I think those performances are, Not to call them mediocre, but I just don't think they require a lot of, like, um, uh, inspiration and search and seek and deep, like, deep, you know, it just, I feel like there are other roles and other performances that require a lot more than... I feel like what is being asked of an actor when they're demonstrating drug addiction. Just because I feel like drug addiction is something that is done very often. And it's something that the film industry, just in general, I think you'll find a lot, a lot of depictions of drug addiction. Like, <laughs> throughout film, you know, I mean, it's not hard to find. So that's what I mean. The inspiration is just a little bit less likely to be original. Uh, and I think that's really what I got from the whole Jack Queen Phoenix like thing parallel in my head. It's not that I'm saying, oh, he was trying to be Jack Queen Phoenix. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that mm, those performances just feel a lot less authentic or original. Um, and it's just a little bit harder to be impressed just because it's not the type of role that we haven't seen before. And you want to know something like this is, again, just me in my own parallel and my own mind making these connections. <laughs> when I had watched the trailer before I had even actually watched the film because it took me a while to come around to it. I didn't want to watch it prematurely. I wanted to like prepare, you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to prepare for a performance, especially if you know it's... Um, it just especially if you're an empath period if you're empathetic being a film lover a film lover can be a bit of like a duality because mm, you can easily internalize the things that you come across and yeah, I just wanted to prepare for it. But the point that I'm trying to get to is that I didn't watch it for a while, but I did watch the trailer. And in the trailer, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I got like a flash of Rue <laughs> in my head. But honestly, I think that you just like the whole uh, social media, like him and Zendaya, like friendship thing in my head. And it just the fact that she also did also a freaking role based in the performance of drug addiction you know so there's a lot of parallels going on um just i'm bringing up these points to give something to reference as to what i'm speaking about um because sometimes words are a bit of a a, a, a limited space <laughs> uh, so yeah that's that's it all right all right mm, goodbye